What is going on guys? Preston, we're back with another video finally. I know I said I was going to film and show you all of my stuff that I've gotten recently, all the new things I've bought, all the new stuff I've, or the stuff that I've won, the tournaments I've fished, all that stuff, and I'm sorry I haven't got to it. Now I need to record this video fast because my uh, camera battery is only on 33, I need to charge it and clear the SD card. So I'm going to film this video real quick, edit this video, upload it tonight hopefully, so yeah. As you see, last weekend, I won another redfish tournament. Same one, pretty much, in Galveston, fished the same area. I uh, caught two fish, I had a 22 inch red and a 20 inch red, and my total weight was like 7.65, I think. My last tournament was 15.93, so a little bit, a little bit lower. But still got, managed to get my limit and win the tournament. Um, Joey, unfortunately, did not catch anything this tournament, which sucks. I caught like eight, I think. I felt bad for him because, you know. So, yeah. Joey was struggling. We were both really struggling, but I got lucky and got my limit. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all my stuff that I have, all the new stuff that I've got. So, um, and so yeah. Also, yeah, I did $750 again. Another trophy. Um, I didn't get big fish. Um, so, yeah. So... And then this weekend, I'm fishing Toledo Bend. This Friday, me and Joey are leaving after school, headed up to Toledo. We're fishing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we'll fish Friday night, we'll fish Saturday all day, and Sunday all day on Toledo Bend. Um, we might fish Rayburn Sunday, I don't know for sure. We might, um, possibly. We have to figure that out. But if we like Toledo a lot, we, this is our first time fishing Toledo, but if we like Toledo a lot, we might fish it again. But because we fished Rayburn a whole bunch this year. So, yeah. So, I went fishing today and I only caught a few fish and I actually had something happen to one of my lures. One of the main lures that I've caught all my fish on lately. My little Bitsy Flip Strike King jig. Actually, the hook broke off today. I had like a three or four um, and I pulled it up. And it swallowed it, and I tried to get it out, and it broke, which sucks. So I need to order like four of those. Um, I'm about to order a big order of lures from our my sponsor, down or Dirty South Lures, because um, he just came out with swim baits and senkos and stuff. So I'm gonna order a bunch of swim baits, a bunch of senkos, um, crank baits, jerk baits, walking baits. I just need to make a big order. Also from Emmett's Bait Co. I need to order from him and Arctic Baits. Um, so yeah, need to make a few big, big orders. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So first setup that I have that it's new is my Shimano Karate K with my favorite Lunkers TV 7.2 medium heavy rod. I got this at Tackle Addict and I use this real this setup every single day. I throw Texas rigs on it mostly. I was throwing a worm today, then I didn't catch anything on it. Uh, mostly the lure that we've been catching a lot on lately is black lizards, or cotton candy lizards, and they've been really getting the job done. Um, Y'all have seen this setup before, my Concept Z on my extra heavy ducky rod. I throw jigs on it. I went out a minute ago and caught one, because I always had the bigger jig this time, and I only caught one. Next setup I have, y'all have not seen before, is my Lose Speed Spool Match 1 um, uh, Real Grips, and it's on the Lose Inshore Rod. This thing casts pretty far. I use it for swim baits, um, sometimes top waters. Next setup I have is my really my salt water top water setup, and that is my. 13 Fishing Concept A. Um, these are my favorite company to use for reels. Um, custom handle with a hook spit redfish rod. It's really mostly my topwater rod. I throw spoons on it. Um, if I'm throwing anything pretty heavy. I'm going to be definitely be throwing this. Now the rod on this one is new. The reel is not. My 13 Fishing Inception. Um, with a hook spit 
crypt or wader light cryptic rod. I use this for like fish head spins, swim baits as well. Or sometimes if I'm fishing for this, I use this reel. I use this setup a lot of times when I'm flounder fishing. It's a good flounder rod and reel. Or whatever I'm, I just hit the camera. Whatever I'm wade fishing for flounder or trout sometimes too. Next new setup I have is a Daiwa rod. This is Joey's rod actually. Um, I have a Barkley rod that I use for this over there. I need to switch them off. But it is my Shimano Sitka. Just recently bought this one. I really like it. I think spinner baits on it. So I'll be using that this weekend. I've seen this next up. It's my Bass Pro Qualifier. Uh, I throw, and it's on my Cabela's cranking rod. I throw my heavy, heavy, heavy crankbaits on here like my 10XDs, my 6XDs, my 20XDs. Um, I don't really fish 20XD that much, but I do sometimes. Next setup I have is one of my favorites. It's my main saltwater setup. My 13 Fishing Concept TX on the Hooksbit TX rod. I throw paddle tails on this one. I throw uh, lots of down south, lots of these uh, spoon tails. Um, this is my main wade fishing setup actually. This is my main all around saltwater setup. I throw about everything on this. Uh, I've caught a lot of fish on that. Second to last setup is my new Shimano Stratic. Um, CI4, I believe. Yep, CI4 Plus. Um, it's got braid on it. I don't know what pound, I think. 30, I believe. And it's on an all star inshore rod. I use this for uh, fresh water too. But yeah, I throw mostly popping course on this at the Wacky Rigs. I throw about, I throw a lot of stuff on that. Finesse worms. Um, final setup I have. I've had this rod for a little bit now. I just don't know if y'all know about it. I used to have my Z on it. But that is my Swampland Medium Light rod. Uh, seven foot. I really, really like this rod. There's a lot of action in it. Probably one of my favorite rods. And I have that paired with my... I'm sure you know the brand. 13 Fishing Concept C. Recently bought this reel too. It's one of my new ones. I need to finish working on it actually because I took it a heart and I didn't have... Um, I need to fix it, so I'll just put all the pieces right here real fast. They're all in my bag. Because the drag on this reel is not like messed up at the moment, so I need to fix that. Um, as well as the tip of this rod, so you can see. So yeah, I need to fix all of that. I need to get these rod tips out of my pant pocket, actually. I'm pretty sure they're in my pant pocket. Here we go. As well as some pellets for my gun. Because I killed a snake. There they are. There's the rod tips and glue. Okay. Let me raise this... Uh, my tripod up a little bit so y'all can see me. I will, um, I'm not gonna be using the big camera really this weekend, only to like record Joey reeling and fish or whenever we're launching and before we go out and I'm talking about what we're using and what we're throwing and stuff like that. That's really whenever I'll use it. Um, but other than that, I'll have the chesty on. I need to charge that, get that SD card ready. Uh, let me shut these. There we go. I shut the curtains because it makes it dark. So yeah, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to edit, fix that reel, fix the tip of this rod, um, then watch the flash. Next thing I will show you all, I have 24% of it. It is my new freshwater bag, and that is my flambo. This thing is heavy. Now we're going to set this on the bed. I'm going to move my other backpacks off the bed. Okay, 
go through this camera. Okay, so we have our bag here. And what's in it, you'll see. And the top, we have my, uh, what are these? Sunglasses case. Always have to have that with us. Um, next thing, I have a spare spinner bait up here, as well as a few other ones right here. I'll show you, I keep all my extra spinner baits up here in this pocket just so I don't mess up, do anything like that in the box. I've been trying out these Wahoo spinner baits for like a dollar for sometimes three dollars or two dollars at Academy and they work perfectly. I got white, white and chartreuse. I got fire tiger. Fire tiger is me and Joey's favorite to throw. Yeah. Keep extra spinner baits in this pocket. Right here in this one, I usually keep um, portable chargers right here. Got one right here. And then I have a bigger one actually sitting with my phone up there. And then in this pocket right here, I have extra uh, dividers for my boxes just in case. I also have grubs for spinner baits. I have some big uh, swimming flukes. And then I have a few creature bait packs that wouldn't fit in my soft plastic thing that I can just grab out and flip. More grubs for spinner baits. And then a pack of worms. So nothing too too fancy up here. I'll also, whenever we're running on the boat or on the boat, I will keep my I'll keep my wallet right here. Keep my wallet right here in this pocket. I keep my phone in this pocket. I keep a charger, two chargers in this pocket. One for my phone because I have an iPhone, and one for my camera, which is USB uh, mic or yeah USB. Or micro USB, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's the one they use for Android phones. And I have a very, very long one that I use actually. So yeah, let me move this like that. And then, I'll, I'll, like I said, I keep my sunglasses case up here. If one of, if it's gonna be super bumpy, or if one of us isn't feeling good, I'll keep like Advil in here or ibuprofen or extra snacks. For me and Joey. Time for the side pockets. Side pockets. I also keep leader line up here. There's these little holes right here that are made for line that you can put leader line in here and bring it out. I put my charger through that and charge my phone, the portable charger. On the side here, I can hang stuff. Um, you could probably use this as a hunting bag too, I'm sure. Um, or like if I'm gonna go, like me and Joe go shoot, shoot skeet and stuff. So if I want to put a bunch of clays in here, um, and then put shells on the side right here or anything like that, we probably could. Probably not gonna do that though, because we use the four wheeler in the golf cart. So yeah, in this pocket, I have my jig and chatterbait box. Guess I know I do have a lot of jigs. I, actually, I don't even have that many. I maybe have 15 jigs, but I constantly throw them. I have swim jigs, finesse jigs, flipping jigs. I have swim jigs, chatter baits in here, and a few trailers actually. So yeah, that's my keeping this wide, as well as um, put my little ones in it. Box I keep my frogs I don't have a whole lot of frogs because I don't honestly I don't do without like frogfish every single day like some people but I do frogfish quite a bit when I can I like the frogfish because it's fun um, like I have a frog fishing spot right next to my house that we go to about every day uh, I need I'm probably gonna go tomorrow if I can if I don't have a lot of homework so yeah I have a bunch of these are basically basically all booyah pad crashers. That's really all I use. And then I have like 
I think I have like one H2 Express in here. I need to get some scum frogs and a few more popping frogs. That's it, I keep those in there. I'll show you my saltwater bag in a minute too if my camera doesn't actually die. And in this pocket right here, I keep a, there's an extra little pocket right here. I keep my fish grips. They fit in there perfectly. I don't really use them that much unless I'm like holding, like holding a giant catfish or alligator gar or if most, really I don't even use them for those. I use them mostly for whenever we're weighing fish. This side pocket right here, I have a pack of rage tail or rage bugs. I have a pack of rage tail brush hogs. And I also have a topwater box. This is really, this has a lot of, this has a big variety of lures that I just forgot that I even had. Like, in a few minutes I'll probably organize this box actually. And here I have a bunch of walking baits from sponsors and stuff. Strike King lures. Um, I have a bunch of jigs in here right now, I don't know why. I have a bunch of chatter baits in here, spinner bait. I keep my spinner baits mostly in this area right here. But in this area it's mostly walking baits, floppers, poppers. Um, just a wide variety of stuff. I really make uh, this box is like this because me and my Joey we went on a uh, boat the other day and we were only allowed to bring like two boxes, so I brought that box and filled it up, and then I bought my terminal box. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna keep that up so I can organize it. Main pocket, we have the goods. First, right here. We have the soft plastics. Let's move that right there. And here I can, it's like a dry Ziploc bag. But in this area, I have my plastics. I have my lizards on lizards on lizards. I have worms. I got creature baits. I got crawls. I got brush hogs. I got, what else I got? The grubs. Uh, uh, like I said, brush hogs. I got some big 12 inch worms. That's not even all my soft plastics, guy. Oh, my leg was in the way. But yeah, I have worms, brush hogs, lizards, creature baits, crawls, grubs, giant worms. All that's in there. So the first box we got is this one. Now, this, as you can tell, is my terminal box. And yes, I do have quite a bit of hooks. I got two aughts, which are my favorite to use. I got three aughts, I got one aughts, I got pegs or bobber stops. I got flipping hooks right here and this one. I got big heavy weights right here that I use um, and wacky hooks also, like weighted wacky hooks. And this one, I have these big old weights. I really don't use these weights that much unless I'm going sheep's head fishing with a jetty or anything like that. I have jig heads right here. I have a bunch of jig heads right here. I don't really use those that much. I have live bait hooks. I got shaky heads. I got my actual jig heads that I use. These mirror lure, edge to express, and naughty hookers right here. I got these um, straight shank hooks in this one. These are offset. These are EWG right here. And then I got some four aughts right here actually. I have swivels, trailer hooks, and beads in this one. So that's all that's in my terminal box. I actually, and then I have my bullet weights. I have, I don't even know. I need to get more of these heavier ones. I, I do like tungsten, but tungsten on whenever I'm at shopping or tackle shopping, which it's a lot of times it is my money, for my tournament money, and the tungstens are super expensive. But if if I have a gift card or something, I'll load up on tungstens because they're just you know, I like them a lot. But I'll, I also like these. I mean, they're cheaper. They come with more tungstens. You can get three at a time for like little ones, and those you get like ten or fifteen in a pack. Next box right here is probably one of my favorite boxes I have, um, and that would be my lizards. I got red, 
or black with red flake in this one. I got black in this one, which you can see it's like almost empty. Actually, there's not any black in here. I don't think there might be one. Is there? Nope. There's not even one. These are just black with chartreuse tails. I got cotton candy, which is like my second favorite color right here. Like you can see, they're almost empty. I got these plum right here. Um, plum with blue flake, I think is what they are. Or margarine. No. Tequila Sunrise, I think this is what they are. I got Junebug. I got Watermelon. Or Green Pumpkin Red, I think. I don't I don't know what this color is. I just know I, it's a good one. I have these Junebug. Like, these are Christmas colored ones, really. <laughs> I forgot I had these. These are just straight Watermelon Seed. Um, I have... These super dark ones right here. These are like June bug, dark June bug purple, or something, something like that. I don't know. But most of mine are actually right here. I have some Lake Fork ones, but I just, I mostly use Zoom. These are all Zoom in this box. Um, and I use, I have like four packs of Black Lizards right now, the six inches. Um, and I have a few packs of Cotton Candy. And here, I just didn't put them in this box because I figured I'd just leave them in the bag. But if they do end up taking too much room and I need to keep all my other lures in here, they will go in the box. Next box. I have Senkos. I have my... I don't know what these, these colors are. I got this. I have these like, Christmas colored ones again. I got shad colored ones or bait fish colored ones. I got my green pumpkin and my watermelon right here. This side I got my rivets and my flukes. I don't really use this box too much unless I'm throwing wacky worms or weightless fluke. Next box I got my hard baits. Now in here I got my deep divers. I got 6XDs. I got some more 6XDs, 20XDs, 10XDs, um, I think that's an 8XD, um, and I got all my big square bills right here. Um, some of these are from sponsors, like that one's a sponsored one, that Florida sun or Sunrise or Sunset one is a sponsored one, and then I got my jerk baits down here, and then I have medium range, like four to six foot divers right here. And then I got rattle traps right here. My, most of my rattle traps are in that box y'all saw earlier. I need to put them back in here. Um, as well as a few 6XDs that I took out of this box. Last box I got. And in this video I'm only going to do my, uh, my freshwater bag. And then I'll do my saltwater one in the next video. And this is my crawl and creature bait box. I got these net bait pack crawls pack of chunks or whatever they're called I like to use these on jigs um, I got a bunch of those I got green pumpkin I got watermelon I got plum with blue flake I got Bama craw uh, more Bama craw and then I got these big old rage brush hogs right here from strike king and I got a few zoom brush hogs down here these June bugs ones um, right here, I got Strike King Rage Crawls, probably my favorite lure to throw on a jig or to throw on a shaky head, um, by far, because they, they just work, they got a lot of action. I got Watermelon Red, I got, uh, I got a few of these Sapphire ones actually that are, these are Berkeley, um, uh, Power Baits. These right here, uh, these are Black and Blue Rage, uh, Crawls. I got, where are the ones I was using earlier? I think I'm out of them. Yeah, dang it. I got a lot of these Bama Crawl ones. I got Bama Crawl, uh, Rage Crawls, and Pack of Chunks. I also got these. These are pretty interesting colors. These are like fire. Or what? I don't know. Like This is like Red Crawl, I guess. I don't know. Uh, those are more Rage Crawls. And then I got some Cotton Candy Brush Hogs right here course you know 
down here I got a few creature baits. Um, these are like mostly uh, Zoom Z Craws and a few uh, beavers from um, Strike King. So yeah, that's really all I got in this box. But yeah, I have most of my creature bait or creature baits and beavers and stuff are right here. So yeah, that's gonna end off this video. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, Y'all subscribe to the channel if you're new. Y'all like the video if you're new. Y'all comment down below what y'all want to see. Comment down below if you're excited that I'm back making videos. Um, Y'all subscribe to the channel. And it, I think we're like at 240 right now, which is awesome. Uh, let me check my phone, actually. We are... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We are at 240 something, I think. We are at 242 subscribers. That is absolutely awesome. Um, thank you so much. My top video has 731 views. Never thought it would get that big. Maybe it'll get to a thousand soon. Um, let's get us to once we hit three, no, 500 subscribers. I'm going to be doing my first giveaway. It'll probably be sponsor lures like Dirty South Lures, Crankbaits, Jerkbaits. Whatever y'all want, y'all are going to comment below. And also, y'all go use my promo code. Press and let me check. Let me check what my promo code is. I, I completely forgot because I haven't made a video in a while to shout it out. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's fishing W Preston, O2. I, I believe. Let me, let me check my DMs with him. My promo code should be right here. Fishing W Preston 10. That is my promo code. It'll be linked down below. So y'all go ahead and y'all go and check Dirty South Lures out. His link will be down below as well, as well as Joey's channel, Jeremiah's channel, Dominic's channel, and uh, that's all my friends that have YouTube channels. So yeah, y'all go and subscribe to them, give them some love, tell them I sent you, and I will see you guys in the next video. I gotta go organize tackle, edit this video real quick before bed. Actually, it's only 8.30, I still got like two hours. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I don't know what we'll be doing in the next video. I'm going to try to get out here and film for you guys this week. Maybe we'll go frog fishing tomorrow and go fish all these ponds in Friendswood that I fish um, with lizards. And we usually do pretty good. Um, so, yeah. No, actually, the next video will probably be tomorrow. I'm going to film tomorrow. It'll be my saltwater bag. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Peace.